Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Huskies have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Anderson is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. Honor from the two. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. For these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 34-yard line, third down. there before he stepped out of bounds. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. And off to the left. He tackles him for a loss. The Huskies always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. First and ten, ball on the 32-yard line. Robinson gets the carry. Tackle made at the 21-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. That play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here we go. Brought 
down at the two-yard line. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you've got a big-time advantage over any defense. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. He makes the PAT. A nine play, 66 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 7 0. Northern Illinois is lining up to kick this one off. From the eight-yard line, they'll bring him down at the 31. Allen's a guy you really have to game plan for if you're a defensive coach. And we sat down with the coaches this week, and they know, they look at him, they look at that offensive line, and they know they're in for a long day. Well, it's going to be a tough challenge for this defense. One thing that they, I think, have to do is commit numbers to the line of scrimmage. They've got to be able to be willing to take chances, put an eighth, sometimes ninth guy up close to the line of scrimmage and force his quarterback to try to have to beat them by throwing the ball through the air. Otherwise, it could be a long day for this defense. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 29. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. <laughs> Roberts to punt. <laughs> What a collision. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. They try the right side, and they make the stop at the 44-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. From their own 44-yard line, second down. Northern Illinois is up a score. Throwing left, and he can't make the catch. Battle was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here we go. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. He put a little bit too much mustard on that throw, and it got away from him. That makes it fourth and eight. And he can't hang on to the ball. I know I'd be nervous with 11 guys sprinting down the field of me, but the first job of return man is to catch the ball. Well, at least for now, the crisis was averted and they keep control of the ball. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Fakes it and the quarterback scrambles. Slides down to the ground. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Hey, check back, check back, check back, check back. 
He goes out of bounds around the 30 yard line. The 39 yard line. That's a good gain of nine yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. There's a strike complete. Tackle at the 49 yard line. Evans with the tackle at the 49 yard line. That makes it first and 10. is on it. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Northern Illinois up seven points. And he's tackled at about the 49. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49 yard line. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Northern Illinois' lead is a touchdown. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He fights forward to about the 43. the 35. First and 10. Ball on the 35. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Northern Illinois is up by a touchdown. Nice run to the outside. From the 23-yard line, first down. position to score what a play for a solid job there by the quarterback recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver and this is the eighth play of the drive Boy, 
He looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he converts the extra point. It was an eight-play, 65-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's tackled at the 27. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. And he's tackled right away. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Number six, the intended receiver of the play. That makes it second and ten. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down at the 47. Griffin on the tackle at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Watch the screen, watch the screen. And he throws it away. made at about the 37 yard line the 37 yard line third down so it's third down and they're just inches away from picking up the first down here's a handoff and he's brought down right away Trying to change the field position with his kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The Huskies are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Brought down at the 34. one away. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch and look out, and he's leveled at the 48. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Halfback's got it on the quick 
throw. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. The Huskies use their second timeout. From the 43-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he has possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24. and it's almost picked off. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly, stepped up, and what does he do? Drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Throws complete, he's hit right away. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. Moss takes it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. 17 to nothing, Husky. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Moss fields it at the seven. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at midfield. Northern Illinois is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Complete. He's got room. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 39. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Flips it, middle to the running back. And he is drilled at the 33. Robinson with the tackle at the 33-yard line. Third down. They're about four yards away here on third. First 
Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. Griffin makes the tackle at the 18-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. First down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Two down, two down. Mike 35. Mike 35. He gets rid of this one. From the 11-yard line. Second down. Down he goes, right around the two-yard line. That's a deal. That'll make it third and one. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Tackle at the one-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. That's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. And he tacks on the extra point. Western Michigan is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. Clipping is the call, and Still now they'll have to down. find a way to make up those yards right here. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Gives it off. Nice gain as he works the right side. That's good for the game. Seven yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Around the 28-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 33-yard line, second down. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Slings it. The play action here threw off the safety. 
But I gotta say that Big Fella did a great job by himself just to get that first down. From the 12 yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. They're packed in tight on the line. Gets it out quickly. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 89-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. The score now, 24-7. Moss from the seventh, brought down at the 28. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. And he tackles them hard at the 28-yard line. That makes it second and ten. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. At the 44. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First and 10. Ball on the 44. They push him out right around the 48-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, Northern Illinois leads 24-7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. the pass incomplete he's short that time no question he had him open but just couldn't manage to get the ball up enough to allow his wide receiver to get his hands on it. third down now and they need to get it inside the 46 first down grab by the receiver and he hits him hard to the 38 yard line robinson makes the tackle at the 38 yard line first down He's going right. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 14. And he throws it away. And this is the eighth play of the drive. up again on third down.
throws complete. He's hammered. Allen gains four yards on that reception. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. From their own 15-yard line, it's second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Nice run there. Robinson gains about five yards on the run. Third down. Moves up in the pocket. Had his hands on it and dropped it. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Miller awaits the snap. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. The Broncos thought they had the right game plan and the right player to do it. Neither worked out for them. Yeah, I think the, the game plan and the star player came into this game with a lot of confidence. What they weren't able to really think about was how good this defense would be that they were facing today. And today, they just got completely shut down. Once and all, going deep. They'll bring him down at the five-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Now it's first and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. That's a great tackle at the 13-yard line. Slings it, brought down around the six-yard line. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Steps up, and they get the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Western Michigan will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Under a minute left. Fires it up. He's taken down at the five. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. run up the gut. It was the umpire that threw the flag, and generally, that's a holding penalty. Still first down. It's first down. This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. Tackled after 
decent pickup. That'll make it second and seven. Lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Allen's play today, not what he expected from himself. He's just got to go on to the next week. Well, he's going to have to shake this off. This was not, obviously, one of his better performances. The team ends up losing this football game, but hopefully they're able to put it behind them and move on and try to get better next week. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.